Hello everyone and welcome back to Freshest Now. In this video, we are going to understand the role of a design engineer. Now, if you already have a basic degree or if you had been graduated as a design engineer, consider that this role is actually going to pay you very high. Thinking how? Well, let's get started into the basic definition part. I welcome you all to the video of a design engineer as to how the skills are really essential, what are the basic criteria of work as well as you are going to know how you are being paid as well. So a design engineer would be studying and researching and developing ideas for new products and the systems which are used to make them. They would be also modifying the existing products as well. They would be increasing the efficiency and improvising the performance of that particular product. So actually they need to have that creative thinking ability to be more innovative enough regarding the development of a particular design or a product. This is the basic thing about the role. Now if you want to ace this role you need to have some set of skills. Some of them are telecommunications, engineering design, uh, digital design, instrumentation, control, Python, analytical and also numerical skills, creative problem solving skills and also you should have the ability to work in a team because you would be surrounded by n number of people where ideas keep flowing out there. So you should be aligned with the thought process and workflow as well. With that note, you can understand what does this person actually do. So there are many things which are aligned into this role. We will be knowing that further. Design engineers, they would be in charge of creating blueprints where they would be working in schematics for systems, machines and the equipment that they are using. As they would be working in a team, they would be inclu including several members who are also mechanical engineers. They would be following plans, models and also a certain set of equipment in order to create their products and or also models. In some cases, it can be these engineers giving direct orders to them in order to make an efficient working of the product as well as giving a worthwhile go. And they would be asked to construct prototypes in certain types of situations as well. So be aware of that. Now, if you are interested to become one, consider yourself getting into knowing all of these basic credentials. Being proficient in MS Office, you should be able to multitask as well as manage your time and be accurate whilst having very strong attention to detail because every step that you're working with needs to have a proper plan and a blueprint that whatever step that you are executing needs to have a proper and instructed way of productive and efficient working. So that much of intensity is required in order to develop a particular product. No matter if you, even if you are an individual who is working or even if you are working for an organization, this has to be done. And why is this essential? Why is that an intensity needs to be maintained? Because there are many job roles which are aligned with it. Some of them are research and to draft blueprints, engineering plans and to graphics, develop test prototypes, use design software to develop various other models and drawings of the new products. You should also be able to identify and improve production efficiency. So here you go. You have all of the major things that you need to be doing being a design engineer. It's not an easy go indeed. Well, the pay also is going to be looking something like that. On an average basis, it's going to be 368000 per annum. And this pay is going to look something like this if you put it on a professional graph, which is pay by experience. From year one to year four, you might not see the level of growth, but eventually from after five years or so, you can see it is going to be shooting right up. And this can be placed whilst if you understand how major locations in India are paying you. Mumbai, 365000 per annum. 3,33,000 from Hyderabad and 4,63,000 from Bangalore and Pune paying 3,67,000 per annum and Noida 4,95,000 per annum. Again, it would be differing from company to company and the organization that you're working for depending upon your skills and hands-on experience that you are having as an individual. So how major companies are paying these design engineers? The first company is Tal Technologies, 4,54,000, Larson is paying 4,95,000 per annum and Intel 19 lakhs per annum. A huge demand, right? 
Now that you have understood what are the companies paying high enough, what are the locations uh, which you can consider while starting your career as a design engineer, consider yourself having a sorted goal before you step into your professional life. Also, if you have any sort of comments or any sort of suggestions or opinions regarding this, place them in the comment section so that we can know. And any questions for us, always welcome to ask. We'll be happy to answer you through our comment section. And don't forget to subscribe to Precious Now for more informative videos like this. Thank you so much for watching.